Yo, 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 this is King Erna coming to you live and direct. Youngin hit my DM today. He said, oh, gee, what do I do if I get locked up by the feds, man? It ain't looking too well for me. I told him when you get in that building, you keep your mouth shut. If you're coming on rich to that building, I'm going to tell you, like OG Sloan told me from our southwest. He said, youngin, we was up hunting. And he said, youngin, when you go down there, man, don't talk to nobody. He said, I see you. You're always talking to my youngin, Corey and them. He said, listen to me. You're a good dude. When you get down to FDC, don't talk to nobody. I said, damn, it's like that? He said, yeah, man, they all tell him down there. He said, look out for the ones that you say as your friends because they'd be down there and they'd be working and they'd bang you because they know that you're friendly with them. So, you know me, man, I just tried to carry out what the OG says. So when you get in the cell now, after you see the first thing they do is they ask you all these questions and, then, you know, Sloan already gave me the game. He said, don't sign nothing on that joint except for your mail. Where you want your mail from and your phone list or whatever the case may be, that's it. I done that, boom. Got on the block, here come people. Hey, I sound like a mocker. I was ignoring individuals because for the most part, you could see it in their eyes, they lost already. A lot of them was running around with slippers on. So I really knew something was going on because everybody is too comfortable. I can remember about four or five dudes getting called out on them being rats, and it was kind of silent the way they done it. You know, the people that was calling them out, like, yo, you know what we told you, you don't want to cross the street, ah, da, 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 da. And I was just still minding my business, and my thing was, what was next? I went to arraignment. When I get to arraignment, they was like, everybody in this cell, everybody in that cell, everybody in this cell, but hold on, the people in that cell ain't no good. So I just kept my mouth shut. I noticed when I would go in the cell, it always was just one dude, man. He not living no more. He told him to my brother, man, the guy's dead. He's dead now. He died from a massive heart attack. But he told on my brother, ML, you know what I mean? He told on him, and he came with all these lies, but at the time I didn't know ML. Yeah, man, I didn't, you know, I ain't telling nobody. Blah. The guy name was... Uh, Boy name was uh, Mustafa, if I'm not mistaken. He had a heart attack. He had a heart, massive heart attack, and he died. Well, he told on ML on the case that they had, a, a, um, a gun purchasing case. Put him all in there, put him in a bad situation. But I didn't know nothing about paperwork, so the boy only showed me his PSI, and his PSI was clean. And everybody down there said PSI was this. So when I heard people talking, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Main man feed me and anything. But I don't know ML at the time. So he keep asking me, every time he bring me a bowl, food good as hell too, man. They had a microwave or whatever, the oven down there. He bringing me food and, yeah, man, this guy in the 30, bringing me my fungo and all these different platters that I never had in my life. And it's good. And I'm eating every last bit of it. Yeah, man. No, but one thing I never done was talk to him about crime. I still just, damn, man, that's crazy, man. You thoroughbred, man. Let me see that. God damn, man, they think that when I get back up the grade of man, I'm going to tell Sion everybody, man, you a good dude. Ah, ah. He like, yeah, he kept asking me things, though, like, what happened with you when, so I'm like, what are you talking about? I just talking about, I don't remember that. He like, oh, all right, that's how I knew you. I knew you through this person. Ah, ah, ah. I gave y'all a story about how Zugar was. He was a pure rat, and he, he didn't rat at the time, and he was just trying to get the heart to do it. Wave my raiment, praying that I go back up to my jail and get the writ back down. And by the time I get the writ, I'll be going out because I was just waiting for the parole board to fix it because they paroled me to a home plan. But once the feds got me, they had to reword it and parole me to the federal detainer. So I'm like, damn, I'm going to go back up to hunting and get bail. I mean, get uh, um, paroled and I, I go down there. They probably give me a bail. Ah, ah. Nah. Got there, hunting them was like, no, we'll see you when you get back. Got a rip for next week. I'm like, what? Before you know it, I'm done great for another 10 months waiting. They come get me. When they come get me, they take me back to the federal building. So I'm down there, and my whole thing is like, it's a whole new block, but it's a couple of individuals that I remember. When I seen the dude Zucar, he looked sick like he was dying. I'm like, God damn, what happened to him? But he had bit the cheese. Everybody else, you know. Different dudes I knew, they like, yo, what's up, boy, god damn, ah, ah. and my thing was, I don't really have conversation for too many people. 
But I noticed that certain individuals would come around me and they would try to bang me, man. And one of the boys' names, his name will come to me before this is all over with. But he was a rat. It's coming to me. His name on the tip of my tongue. But he always was like doing rat stuff, though. You could tell. And he would talk real fast. What's up, man? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, he always smiling at me. Hey, slippers on him. Well, this nigga just got the raps, man. So, you know, when my crew got real tight, man, my crew, we had the tightest, tightest crew, man. It was just us, those of honor, man. There was a few other dudes on the block that was good men, but for the most part, it was like us and like three other people that probably wasn't telling or that wasn't potentially on their way to tell. And it made me look at life different. I lost my grandparents. I mean, I lost my grandmother and majority of my whole immediate family within a week time on that block. And I began to understand that you know, the streets wasn't for me no more. The more the tough street guys came in, the more I seen them break. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't got to go across that street. You could perform. Perform. Listen, I don't want to go. Perform. And you won't go. Well, how your lawyer call? I don't want to go. If they, if they take you across, then you sit in that cell. I don't know what you're talking about. It's called a profit hearing. It's where a lot of these guys go to, man, to try to get some type of leverage. A lot of them rats be trying to figure out what they can get out the information from them or what they know. And my thing always was, why do you care about what they know? All I got to know is that I'm in jail. They know enough. Huh. Bottom line, trial me. And that's it. You'll find out that dudes is looking for a way out from the gate. That's their goal. They want a way out. Their goal is to try to figure out how they can get out of jail, right? And get back to that girl they lost. You know? And like I said before, somebody might have missed my joint before. They'll send the feds to know your family. They'll take the letters out of your mail and send them off to like five different other female that you might be writing to. And boom, try to get them to go in on you too. Or try to get you to break more. Oh, I can't go on no further. I can't. They all left me. No, you got to stand tall because at the end of the day, the people that you was hustling with or you was doing negativity with, they ain't ask you to. They ain't put nobody put no gun in your head and say, you got to hustle every day for the rest of your life. And if you don't, you're dead or you're a goner. And if they did, I'm pretty sure most street dudes know how to handle that. Okay, I'll hustle for you. When they come back, you do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, you're protecting your life. You're not being a slave. You know what I'm saying? And what ends up happening is you won't be a slave in jail, too, because they're going to work you in unicorn like you're a slave. But the building, that building out Sixth and Market is so trifling, so horrible, that the people that's taking you into the courtroom, they be telling you, like the clerks, Watch yourself. You're in that cell. You might want to keep your business to yourself in that cell. And you'll be like, man, shut up. Okay, shut up, Mr. Shut up. Walk in that courtroom. You're like, God damn, they're going to my cell. I ain't ever dude I was sitting downstairs talking with about a month ago, telling them everything. So you got to watch your mouth now. A lot of people look at my videos and they, they hate it. They hate me for it. They hate me for it. And y'all got to understand. The reason why they hate me for it is because if they didn't tell already, they got goals. Anybody that hate this type of conversation on these type of jewels that I'm giving you is only an individual who's willing to bring everything down just because they were hustling. Now, some will say, well, if you're changing, aren't you supposed to be on the law side? The same law that killed Trayvon Martin? Are you got to be kidding me? You think that I'm going to care? Oh, they got a job to do. They get paid for eight hours. And a lot of them agents get paid for a lot of overtime. My thing is, I know me. I don't know everybody else. I know me. And I know usually when I go to jail, I go to jail by my damn self because I never done crime with nobody. You can't count on me ever doing a crime with anybody. Anybody will tell you, yo, I don't know what the hell, how he didn't got in trouble some of the times. He'd get in trouble on his own. Your goal, though, your goal is to worry about you in that building. You, no one else. 
you'll hear dudes say, man, let's go ahead and get a lawyer and cop out, man. Listen to me. If you in a case with individuals, I wouldn't advise you to just get a lawyer and just plead out, man. Sit down with them people and find out what's going on because that's not of honor to do that. Me, I was by myself. Accept my responsibility. Get on. You dig me? But they'll tell you, I didn't go out like that. Suppression hearing. And it, and, and it went goofy. They, 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 they had to want something. They want that. But I fought my sentence and like I was, what boxer can I use as an example of this? It got to be uh, Rocky Balboa, man. I fought my sense and just like that, and I came out well. But at the end of the day, I got some time. And the time I got, of course, it take you away from the family. And I was already doing six years on another bit. So imagine that. This is when people talking about, oh, man, I've been tested. Imagine you at the door of the other bit, and they come and they say, huh, I got you on that. We need to know this. A lot of you dudes going to try to get home to that pussy. A lot of you dudes going to try to get home to that money. A lot of you dudes going to try to get home to that car. A lot of you dudes going to try to get home to your children. If you want to get home and stay home with your children, after you do the time on that, go home and do the right thing, man. Fight in there like you fight everybody on the streets. You know how you don't have a problem with shooting a dude for no reason? Well, don't have a problem with getting in that law library. And they got one in the back, and you can sign up to try to get extra law library time. Other than that, don't be down in that building playing games because it's a castle that only mice survive at. Men be falling off. The bears, the individuals like myself, oh, <laughs> that's easy. It's like, wake me up when it's over with. I'm pulling up in the I'm pulling up in the um in the um washroom. Somebody weigh me up when it's all over with. From the back with it with these and everything, push ups, dips. Yeah, it's gonna be over with soon. And that's what I done. I stood tall. A lot of people don't get a chance to say they stood tall. The youngins are the ones that's falling victim to. Now imagine this youngin. You run around in the street, running around. You're supposed to be this big G, right? People trying to kill you on the streets, right? Now you're going to war by yourself. Pistol for pistol. Before you know it, you're in jail. And them feds knock on your door. What's up, boy? Hey. The guys that are uh, trying to kill you, you know, they're still out there. A couple of them, can, you know, you can bring them in and we can let you go. And that's what a lot of weak dudes do because a lot of them be scared of that smoke anyway. So they'll go ahead and bang individuals that they had problems with, right? And then turn around, come back out here in the streets like nothing never happened, man. Then you'll find out like three or four bits later, like, yeah, you know, the boy had told him so-and-so. Yeah, that's why they had let him out and gave 